Good afternoon. I'm just going to kind of preface this with there's a uh, kind of some severe weather moving through the area. So hopefully my ice stream doesn't get cut short. I started a few minutes early, so hopefully we would be done with it. Maybe it looks like there is some more severe weather currently um, coming in. So if I do lose you, I apologize. It's not my fault. I blame it on the weather. I have no control over that. Um, so for this week, let's see. I chatted down a few things that are going on that I've been working on. I would say the number one most important thing this week is that the Kickstarter campaign for the Realm of Thrall Stones game actually went live yesterday. So, yay, that's both um, exciting and terrifying at the same time. Um, so if you want to go out there in the description for the video, I left the link for Kickstarter to fund this game, Stones, which I'll have physical copies available, but I wanted to turn it into a mobile game. So most of the funding is for, well, buying um, inventory because I get it cheaper if I can buy it in bulk um, and also to, you know, um, turn it into a mobile game, which I'm not a game designer, so I can't do that. But I'll just give you a quick look, you know, um, at the board here. It's got all of the nice little, you know, diamonds, clubs, spades, hearts, um, stays within um, the parameters of the Realm of Thrall project, which if you're not familiar, either go out and check the Kickstarter out because it has information on everything um, related to the project in addition to my webpage it also has it out there. Basically, it's kind of the uh, traditional playing card suits um, is the overarching realm and each individual suit kind of has their own nation, if you will. Um, I've been commissioned to uh, write about this diamonds suit, which the game stones is actually pulled right from the pages of the book. Um, I actually wrote it into the book before I designed the game. So everything that I put in here about the game, I had to find out how to make that work somehow within the game, which was super fun. Um, I did create the game through Game Crafters. So if you want to go out there and check that out, that's a really good way of you can pick out the board, you can pick out the boxing, um, and you can also um, order it through there, upload your artwork, etc. It's really easy to use. It's almost like, you know, indie publishing. It's kind of the same thing, but it's for games, which is kind of interesting. So part of the Kickstarter, you can get the books. You can get the Diamonds books. You can get all the Diamonds art. Um, Trevor Spade's book is also available on the Kickstarter, along with all of the art as well. And... Also, we have the clubs books. Those are out there too. And I do, I don't have the hearts books with me. Um, Trevor has the, the uh, proof copy that's going through the final stages of editing and will be out very, very soon. Like, I mean, it's in the final stages, almost done. So earlier today, Kickstarter was down, which had me freaking out for a moment. Um, it seems to be back up and, run and running. I'm hoping it's because everybody just had to run out there and back the project. I I'm going to go with that. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. So other things I've been really working on um, the Titan Home Villas. I did finish writing the rough draft for Ruin Master Saga, the third book, which is Glory. Here's a kind of a sneak peek at what the cover is going to look like. Um, so that one is written. So I've kind of moved my my focus to the Titan Home Villas. Um, I do have episodes one, two, and three that are going to launch on May 1st. And basically, I'm trying to build up to 12 episodes kind of as a cushion. Um, so my plan is to release and schedule one release per month and that just to keep that flowing and moving forward. That gives me plenty of time to work on additional material, kind of gives me enough of a head start to kind of keep up with it. At least I'm hoping. We'll see. Um, origins. Getting ready to take a look at coffee inventory and ordering 
you know, it's probably gonna be like a thousand dollars worth of coffee I'm gonna be ordering to take there from Deep Grind Coffee. Um, feel free to check them out too. They have some really amazing um, coffee blends that are kind of of a geeky nature. They have really cool art on them. They have some, they, Trevor carries the storybook collection, which is more flavored coffees. And then I carry the adventure selection, which is like Dragon's Roast and Siege Fuel, um, Elder's Fathom, Wizard's Mist, just Frost Giant um, for their cold brew. It's just kind of a neat opportunity that we can add to the booth, which uh, boosts our sales um, when we go to conventions. I'm going to have to work on building up more vinyl decal inventory. I have a cricket, so I do a lot of kind of nerdy vinyl decals. Um, I do need to take a look at my book inventory and see if there's anything that I need to order for Origins so I get it in plenty of time. This is really hard for me because I've never really done an event of this size. I, I don't have previous year's sales to, um, you know, kind of gauge my inventory off of. So I'm really just kind of throwing a dart and, and uh, taking a guess on what I might sell there. I don't want to over order, but then I don't want to order um, enough. So basically, I just got an email from Origins that says that um, I can fill out a form and they will um, kind of advertise my game launch for stones, which I'm planning on launching there. Um, we get priority points for the next year for booth placement. So I kind of want to make sure that, you know, the game is done pretty much. So, you know, I'll go ahead and, and launch it there in June. Booth placement for Origin is April 19th. It's done through Zoom. Um, we're kind of bottom of the barrel as far as um, our booth placement. So we kind of are going to be, <sighs> last on the list and probably not a lot of options available to us but it is what it is for our first year we'll make it work so some things that i have to work on moving forward into next week is more origins prep um, i need to work on you know marketing signage i need to work on packaging for vinyl decals buttons things like that um, make everything look nice make it look professional start gathering all of those materials that I need together, make sure, you know, if there's anything else that I need to order, um, that I get that taken care of. Um, it looks like as far as writing is concerned, I know I'm talking about a lot of other things, but being part, part of being an indie author is all the other stuff that goes along with it. It's not just writing, it's not just editing and publishing and, you know, book tours and you know, it, it is a lot of really really hard work it is a business so if you think that you're going to publish a book and you're just going to hit submit and put it out there on amazon and think that you're going to you know be rolling in the dough immediately that's not going to be the case so if you want to be successful you're going to have to get out there and you're going to have to do these things and think about running a business and learning all of these things and some people are good at it and some people aren't but there's plenty of tools out there for you to learn you just have to do it yourself um so dragon dynasty which is going to be the first volume of my novellas in the diamonds realm that one like i said i've got proof copy here so it's very very close i've, I've gotten probably about i think i've got about a third of it that I've gone through um, for around the final editing. Um, so I need to finish that. Um, I'll probably start on my glory edits uh, next week. Um, I do need to, let's see, I've written 10 total episodes for the Titan Home Bellas. I have one through three that are already scheduled to launch, so they've been edited. Now I need to start editing all of the other ones that I have completed. You know, I just have rough drafts right now. And one thing that was on my agenda for this year was to review past work. Um, I know that no matter how many times I go through, how many rounds of editing, um, I've paid $2,000 for editing. I've paid $200 for editing. 
I paid zero dollars for editing. And I'll be completely honest, um, I do use a software called Pro Writing Aid, which seems to do a pretty good job, but it doesn't catch everything. Um, I try to play my chapters back to me, have the computer read them to me, and I do find errors that way. I read chapters out loud. That seems to help too. Um, it doesn't matter what I do and how much I pay somebody. I always find typos or grammatical errors, and I apologize for that because I try to make my work as clean and polished as possible, but um, sometimes it's a challenge and sometimes you just miss things. I don't have a traditional publishing house that has, you know, professional editors that go through you know, multiple people to go through it, an agent to go through it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just me, so I do the best that I can. But you know, it's been a number of years since I'm going to start with my first book, Flames of Valor, which was my first book published in 2016. Um, I'm starting there, and I started with let's see, I've completed the first five chapters, um, and I found some things in there. Um, I would not say that they're huge things. But I knew I do know that I have a, two, a couple of books out there that are quite a bit they're rougher than I would like them to be. Um, I've had some readers point out some things, which is great. I know sometimes people feel like, well, I don't want to, you know, point out all the errors. Sometimes it's really hard to find them in your own work, and if you find them, I, I'm perfectly okay with you telling me. Um, it might hurt initially, but it's constructive criticism. And, you know, if I'm going to be out there in the public eye, I have to learn to deal with that public criticism as well. So um, if you find something, let me know. I'll write it down. And whenever I go through, I'll try to update that. So hopefully those will be coming kind of a version two, if you will. I'm not really changing much about the story or the plot lines, just kind of looking for any errors that I might have missed the first time, you know, first publishing. Clean it up a little bit. So those are some things that I'll be working on in the next few weeks. So until next week, see ya.